Pattern formation during Drosophila embryonic development is guided by asymmetric cues along the anterior posterior and dorsal ventral axes. Asymmetry along the dorsal ventral axis is manifested at the endovogenesis by the uniform expression of the gene pipe in the follicle cells covering the ventral 40% of the oocyte. This leads to selective modification of the vitellin membrane only in the corresponding ventral domain. In the early embryo, this asymmetry results in restricted activation of a signal transduction cascade within the ventral portion of the perivitellin space, marked here in gray and culminating in a gradient of nuclear localization of the protein dorsal within the ventral embryonic nuclei. This sequence of events poses an intriguing question. How is the initial uniform pipe signal converted into a graded outcome of dorsal nuclear localization? We describe a mechanism termed self-organized shuttling that can account for this transition. Signaling from the perivitellin space to the embryonic nuclei is achieved following binding of the Spetzler ligand to toll receptors. The protease ester is activated only within the ventral domain defined by pipe, where it cleaves the Spetzler precursor. Following cleavage, the prodomain of the ligand, termed N. Spetzler, remains non-covalently associated with the active portion C. Spetzler. And this association takes place only upon binding to toll. We show that the two portions of Spetzle can reassociate to create a distinct inactive complex. A key prediction of our model is a novel mechanism for destroying N Spetzle within this inactive complex to release C Spetzle. This process should be ventrally biased, resulting in restricted accumulation of N Spetzle at the lateral and dorsal regions of the perivitellin space. We propose the following shuttling mechanism by which the asymmetric distribution of N Spetzle results in ventrally directed accumulation of the C. Spetzler ligand. The reassociated inactive complex diffuses freely within the perivitellin space. However, upon entering the pipe domain, N. Spetzler is destroyed and C. Spetzler is released. Free C. Spetzler can either rebind another N. Spetzler molecule or, alternatively, associate with toll. In the ventrolateral region, where N. Spetzler levels are higher, rebinding to N. Spetzler will be prominent. However, upon reaching the ventralmost region where N. Spetzler levels are low, binding to toll will be preferred. The outcome of this process is ventral shuttling of the active ligand C. Spetzle. This shuttling will create a net ventral accumulation of ligand, peaking at the ventral midline and leading to a sharp activation gradient of toll signaling and dorsal nuclear localization. 